all right guys so we are back to our code in the previous video we looked at creating our database so we created this database we have over here it has a users table and the notes table so this is what we are going to be using throughout our tutorial so in this particular tutorial i'll be introducing you to the auth the leaf auth module it's another package which makes authentication um, handling user authentication really really simple so it reduces our workload by tons so well let's get started with it so to get started with the leaf auth module just like any other package you would have to initialize it so you say auth equals new leaf auth And the auth module uses uh, uses our database, so we'd have to connect to our database in order to use it, right? And we can do this simply with auth connect, just like using MySQLi or PDO. So we have to connect to our database. So the first parameter is the host the user which in my case is root i have no password for my local database mm. and then the database name so our database name was notes api and there our connection is done so just like that we've been able to connect to our database all right so as i was saying the auth package takes away all the all the code would have to do to create a new user or to log a new user in and it doesn't just do that it also helps us generate tokens for users so in an api like this where the front end is separate from the back end authentication is normally done using a token so this token can be added to other requests which we'll see later on to act as proof of login something like that so once this token is passed into maybe a route like node slash all we know it's coming from a user who has been logged in so the auth package generates all of that for us so we don't have to do anything we just need to focus on logging the user in that's all so I'll pass in the auth variable over here. So this is multi cursor editing. You hold control and click wherever you want to. And that's all. So I'm going to work on the register section first because currently we don't have any users in our database. So there is no data to work with. So I'll use the auth, I'm um, sorry, I'll use the register to create a couple of users then we see how the auth method works so right here all we need to do is say auth register so the first parameter it takes in is where to store the users obviously in the users table next is the parameters we want to store in the database so I'll actually use a semicolon here. So then username is this variable username here. And email also this variable here. Email. And then the password finally. make sure um, password right so with this we can actually successfully create a user and it returns the new user if there is a user and it returns false if there is a problem and it's not able to save the user so to catch any error we'll say if not user 
or if user equals false like we saw before we say up response throw error and this time we say auth errors just like validation errors we saw earlier form errors all right so if there are no errors then we want to return the user all right so there's no validation here currently so i'm just going to write a little validation here so i'll say validation equals form validate um, so no oh no username should be a valid username email should be an email and the password should be required all right so just like this we say if not validation so if not validation form errors right so inside postman I'll say slash auth slash register because that's our route for registration. All right, so slash register. And over here, I'll pass in a username like this and an email. to actually use a password that makes sense so I'll say testing one two three and I'll send this so let's hope it works and it's loading still loading it's taking longer than usual and if it works it's supposed to return exactly an entire user so id username email and you can see the password field is not here because usually you want to return the user without the password and auth does this for us it takes away the password field and it also generates this token i was talking about and we didn't have to do anything it did all of this for us but then there's one tiny problem If a user tries to register currently with the same username and email, it will still be saved in the database, but then we don't want this. We want the username and email to be unique to every user. So we can't have two or more users using the same email and username. Register provides us a simple way to do this. So it takes in a third parameter, which you can see here as unique. So what we need to pass in here is username so it's an array by the way username and email right so once we do this let's go back to postman and try to register with the same username and email and this time we should get an error telling us that the username already exists and the email already exists as you can see so this is literally how simple auth makes it to create logins and registrations with tokens and everything you need so in the next video we'll be looking at the login creating our login so hope to see you